Proverbs thirty five. Every word of God is flawless; He is a shield to those who take refuge in Him. Now that seems like a tough first half to believe, right? Every word of God is flawless. This is the same God who supposedly created the flood in Genesis six to wipe out humanity, and told the Israelites to take out all those who were living on the land that God had promised. How can I believe that God to be flawless? I don't really have an answer for that, truthfully, but I do have a question that I want you to think about. Even if it makes you uncomfortable when you think about the Genesis six flood or, you know, the Exodus process where you know they conquered the Promised Land, even if it makes you uncomfortable, does it mean it's flawless? The examples I used were from the Old Testament book of books of law, something that happened thirty five hundred years ago. What we read about the New Testament seems like a whole different attitude. Almost can seem like a whole different God, doesn't it? What do you think? I don't know. I'll come back next week. We'll talk about the last half of this verse.